Welcome to the Thrift Garage YouTube channel. Uh, so today I've got something that I'm going to unbox and assemble on camera and then uh, we'll talk about it, give a little brief review. Um, so this is a uh, new product that I picked up from Obsessed Garage. Um, the manufacturer is called The Source Garage um, and this is their uh, wheel cleaning stand, wheel stand. So let's uh, unbox it here let's see what we've got how to assemble it. Pretty heavy box of parts. Uh, arrived via UPS, it weighs 35 pounds. Took about a week to get here. So, uh, let's see what we've got inside. Not a ton of packing materials, but not bad either. It's not, it's not Viper Chair or Obsessed Garage, but it's not, uh, not bad either. So the, the packaging could use a little bit of help. Um, there's scratches on this already. I mean, it's a spinner, it's in the inside. I don't necessarily think that it matters all that much, but still. All right, so we're gonna start off with this, the plate that has all the holes in it, apparently. And we're going to do a bolt, a bolt, a bolt, and a bolt in these middle holes. Then we're going to uh, awesome. Then we're going to put these spacers on. One, two, three, four, like that. And this it comes kind of together, so you want to spin it apart. And then that is going to go right there, like that. And we're going to do washers. Like that, and four nuts. So I'm just going to grab a 13 millimeter wrench. There isn't a lot of thread here when you get these started, but as you tighten them down, you can kind of compress these plastic bushes, and then you end up with a fair amount of thread actually grabbing. Okay. So we've got that, and then next, we want to grab our other plates. So here's our other plates. This is kind of going to go the same way but opposite. So we're going to put this here, kind of line up the holes so we can see all four. And then there should be four, okay, these short fat bolts. Again, these are in the spin bag. So, you want to do the bolt from the bottom up. Just figure that out. Because my bolts hit my bolts. The bright side, that makes it easier to start them. Okay. So we've got that installed. All right, so next I want to install these feet. So the feet come with a nut on them. And they also come with a washer and a nut. So for these, you want to do a foot, a nut washer, washer nut. So I think that we want to and make sure that these are all at the same height. And then we'll just kind of go around and do that same thing. Alright. So we've got a 17 and a 17 millimeter wrench. And we're just going to tighten these up. And in order to not mess up the height, Holding with the wrench and 
turning with the ratchet. So they're all at the same height approximately. Feel that way? Okay. So that's on. Now next. So the next thing that I want to do is install these on one side. So it's two bolts, one bracket. Two washers. Okay. All right, so I've got my two brackets on. Now I want to take my rollers. There's two rollers. And I want to angle them like this towards me. So in order to do that, it looks like I have to start one of these bolts and then put that in like that. And then I should be able to tighten this up. So that's set up. Okay, so now I want to set up these vert rollers. I'm not exactly sure where that goes yet. So now I've got these these rollers. So I chose the option with the vertical spin. So that came with this vert hardware. So it should be something like bolt, washer, roller, washer. There's actually two of these. Like that. And then at the bottom, We're going to have this, then a washer, then the table, then the washer, then a nut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make four of these. piece of plastic in there. It's out now. I get interrupted here. But so I attached my two long ones, we we'll call them, the high side. Um, and now I'm making the ones for the other side, the short side. And for this one, I think that I want to be um want to be more like this. So this roller down a little bit further. I, I honestly don't know. I'm just kind of winging it here. Um, so, I, you know, I set this one up so it's the same length on the top. I put the roller in the same position so they match. And then uh, get this tightened. Okay. So we've got some spin there on all of them. And then the very last piece is to install this, which is a, kind of a nameplate um, that just says the Source Garage, which is the company that made these. So I think it's kind of neat because it's an optional piece. If you don't want to brand, you don't have to brand. All right, so last I'm going to get these 10 mils tightened up for this nameplate. plate. That's 
same time, I'm going to tighten up the terminals on the rollers here. So there we go, fully assembled. So, spins around, we've got our adjustable height, it's going to tip our wheels back like this if we're looking at it from the front. They do make an arm that goes at the back here, I chose not to get that. Um, these have adjustable tension on them, uh, so you can you know, obviously fix that as you need to. Um, these rollers um, can be angled in multiple directions, but once they're bolted down they can't be adjusted. Um, I think it's pretty cool. It's, it seems to be built well. It's got these nice adjustable feet on it, which remind me of the McMaster car feet that I put on my toolbox. Um, from a quality control perspective, I think that the, the company is probably still trying to work a couple things out. Um, I had some scratches on my um, the kind of a center rotating section um, from it being packaged in the box with other metal parts and not having a lot of um, you know, uh, rub, uh, bubble wrap or something along those lines. Um, I did also have a, an issue with uh, one of my pieces of all thread had a, a, a piece of thread that wasn't quite cleaned out all the way and I had a piece of plastic inside one of my rollers that I kind of had to bang out of it to, to get the bolt to go all the way through the all thread. Um, other than that, it seems really good. Um, you know, if it was me, I, I, I think I want another bolt or another nut here. Um, I think I want to double on the top as well because I want to be able to set this tension and have it spin. And what I'm noticing is as this spins because you're turning the wheel or whatever, um, this actually walks this nut off and leaves it really loose. It's only going to get too, so loose because this isn't going to lift up. Um, but we've got kind of this doubled up nut on the bottom to keep it from uh, going down. That's our lock, right? I think that either a lock nut on the top or a double nut on the top would be ideal, um, especially on these front rollers. Uh, the back rollers I don't think are going to have you know, too much, um, like the, the tires are going to be against these too much. Um, it feels really wide to me. I'm going to be able to fit a really wide tire on here, um, but none of my cars have really wide tires, so maybe a little bit of adjustability would have been cool to be able to, um, you know, kind of walk this back a little bit and have a smaller piece. But, um, you know, I'll, uh, let's, uh, let's put a tire on it and let's see how it works out. All right, so <clears throat> here's a stand with a wheel on it. Uh, this wheel is a Vox Lago. It's a 20 inch by eight and a half inch. Um, you can see that the stand has quite a bit of width available. You could probably pretty easily fit, you know, a 12 inch, give or take, assembly on here. Obviously, I don't have a tire on this wheel right now. I just kind of wanted to show what it looks like. Um, it rotates really easily. We've got these um, bumpers here to kind of protect the wheel from moving back and forth. Um, obviously when you have a tire on here, there's going to be a little bit more distance. So let me grab a, a smaller wheel with a tire on it, but I did want to show that, you know, this can accept some pretty big wheels. Um, I think the big thing is going to be that your contact path patch is uh, flat on the tire so that it doesn't want to fall left or right. Um, and that might be where the, they make a rear arm for this that bolts here kind of goes up and has a roller, a sideways roller, like right where my arm is. Um, and that might be where that makes sense because this can be tilted back so the wheel actually rests against that roller. Um, so if you've got something that's a much larger assembly, that might make more sense. But for me, you know, with like those mini wheels, um, I think they're gonna fit, fit on here just perfectly. And even that assembly right there is wide enough that they'll be um, easy to manipulate and handle on here. All right, so here we have the stand with the wheel actually on it. Now this is a, uh, a factory Mini Cooper wheel. Um, the tires that are on it are probably a pretty bad example for this stand, honestly, because they're, they're Cinturados, they're worn down, they're an all season tire, they're, they're kind of rounded on the edges, which makes them want to tip over. But as you can see, you can you know, spin the stand around, you can access the entire thing, um, you can roll the tire and wheel assembly on the stand itself. Um, for these, I'm kind of having to rest them on the rollers, um, but for a, a wider tire that was flatter, um, you know, obviously it would stand up without an issue. Um, I think it's a nice 
product. Um, I think that it works well, or it can work well. Um, I mean, they, these don't even want to stand up on my floor. They just want to kind of fall over. So, um, so this is available in a couple different configurations. You can get it with or without these rollers. You can get it with or without the back rail. You can get it with multiple color of these rollers. You can get it spinning like this or stationary and you can get it with feet or with casters. I think this is probably the configuration that you want. Um, you know, the, the, the rolling wheels on the bottom, I don't see that being incredibly useful, um, especially when, when this sec center section rotates. Um, you know, you can get whatever color rollers match, but I think this is nice as like a, a bumper to keep your tire wheel assembly from kind of coming off. Um, it seems built really well. The components are very nice. Um, the instructions aren't fantastic, but they do have some videos on their YouTube channel that honestly, or on, on their uh, website that probably could use an update. Um, I did add, you'll see a second nut here on top of all of these. And that's because what I found was when this was spinning, when I was rotating a wheel or tire through it and this spins, um, it had a tendency to loosen this nut up and it was just kind of bothering me. And then when I tightened it up by hand, then tension wasn't exactly right on these. So I have two nuts down bottom to act as like a locking nut assembly. Um, and then up top, I have um, a nut and I just added a lock nut to the top. This doesn't need to be a lock nut. Really, there could just be one nut and it could be a lock nut, but that was what I had in stock that fit. Um, so yeah, you know, I think it's a pretty nice wheel stand. If you uh, do a lot of work with wheels, it probably makes some sense. Maybe, you know, if you're only taking off one set of wheels and you're dealing with them annually, maybe it doesn't. Um, I think it could, uh, you know, it's, it's a, it's a nice, um, it's kind of a unique tool. So anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.